Hey guys and welcome to another edition of The Blue Bridge. So today I'm going to be talking about site relocation. Will our Chelsea about to move to a new ground? Let's get into it. Fast moving story, two hours ago, there was big talk that Chelsea were again looking at moving away from Stamford Bridge because it's proving too difficult to build on the existing um, stadium. And so they wanted to move to a relocate to Earl's Court. But I was just going to make a video doing my views on this. But um, the, the Earl's Court development have rubbished this. They, they came out with a statement that says that um, they are going to be uh, releasing details of their, um, their, their plans for the area. And it doesn't include a pitch um, for Chelsea. So that story has just died to death. But I'm still going to make the video, actually, because hypothetically, had it been available, like um, this, this location, would I be prepared to move to um, Earl's Court? And my answer is yes, I would. Um, I don't get it with, with these supporters who I know it's, it's, there's a sentimental attachment to Stamford Bridge. And, and I, more than most, uh, know what it's, be, what it's like to be at Stamford Bridge. I've been going to Stamford Bridge for over 40 years. Yeah, I don't look that old, I know. But I've been going to the ground for over 40 years. I've been to every part of Stamford Bridge, apart from the director's box. I've had the privilege of being working for companies where we've had um, private boxes at the bridge. I've, I've been in the corporate areas as well. I've been upper, um, south upper, south lower, Matthew Arden upper, Matthew Arden lower, west upper, less west lower, east stand upper, east stand lower. I've even had the privilege to sit next to, like, I was meant to be sitting next to Wayne Bridge one time. He had his seat next to me, he was too shy to come in, come out. Although my brother was calling him to come and sit down. I think that's what scared him off in the end. Um, we were sitting amongst agents and players' families and things. So I've had all the experiences that you can at Stamford Bridge. And um, so for me, there is that, that attachment there. But when I'm looking at it from my, with my, I'm not looking at it from, with, from my heart, I'm looking at it from my head. And if the better thing is for the club to move forward, the club to stay competitive, then if it means moving away from our spiritual home, I'm for it, but only if it's a few miles away from the Stamford Bridge ground. That's why Earl's Court was okay for me. You know, when we were talking about moving to, uh, what's that place near QPR, um, Oaks Farm, is it, or somewhere, um, away in, in, in West London? No, 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 because that's too far away from the original ground, and no, not for me. Um, Battersea, I'd have been okay with as well, because Battersea is not too far away from Stamford Bridge. Um, but Earl's Court is only two stops away, two tube stops, two tube rides away from Stamford Bridge. The location at Earl's Bridge is better for all fans, because most fans have to get off at Earl's Bridge anyway, because if you look at the district line where we go, then... Um, not all trains go to Wimbledon. That's the, the Wimbledon line is the one that goes to Fulham Broadway. Some of them go to Richmond. Um, some of them go to um, High Street Ken and everything else. You, sometimes you spend a while waiting to get on a train that goes on into Fulham Broadway. Whereas Earl's Court, and it's easy accessible by um, public transport for most people who are coming to the bridge. So that was the other plus point of um having a ground sits located in, in the Earl's Court area. And um, there's quite a lot to do around that area. They're redeveloping it. Uh, now we know, unfortunately, Chelsea's not going to be part of that. But hypothetically, say that we were, there's going to be so much to do around that area for fans on match days as well. Um, and the, the thing is about th these people who don't want progress, the situation with Stamford Bridge and how it developed, the, the, pit, the pitch owners, how it actually developed was obviously we had Marler Estate, who who were uh, who Ken who um, uh, they were uh, what's his name? Uh, what's Brian Mears? Um, when Brian Mears uh, he was going to sell or did he sell to Marler Estates or something? And Marler Estates wanted to 
turn Chelsea into, or we had debt for tomorrow's day, I think it was, and they wanted to um, move Chelsea away from their home and they were, we were on the brink of bankruptcy. Um, Ken Bates said, no way is this gonna happen again. And so what he did was to, to um, safeguard the future of Stamford Bridge and for people, because so, obviously it's a, this is a prime estate in, in, in the middle of London. Chelsea are the only football club, the only London football club who's actually in the square mile of London. All the other clubs are outside of London. Chelsea are actually in the city of London, the only football club in, yeah, the only London London team who are, you can, you can say that. And if you look at the Chelsea and Westminster area, property goes for a lot of money there. So this would be a, real estate stream to, to uh, have the, this location at Stamford Bridge. But, um, so having said that, what was I saying now? I can't remember what I was saying. But yeah, so so, go, so going back to that, to safeguard um, Chelsea's future, um, Ken Bates said, no, what we're going to do, we're going to have uh, Chelsea fans can come forward and own a piece of this pitch. So you don't get one, somebody um, say, you know, just one uh, uh, one person who makes the decisions who can then sell us off to somebody and then we won't have a home. So this is a lots of fans together. They all have to come out in unison and say, yes, we agree with this. And um, that's the only way that Chelsea, the Chelsea, um, uh, the, the ground can be taken over by um, somebody else. And the thing is, um, the centre circle is owned by the Chelsea supporters as well. So they cannot do any um, building works on that in that area without the say-so of the shareholders. So that's the, the sort of the, the history around um, the, the, the pitch owners um, and the, what was devised under, under Ken Bates, which is good. And, uh, okay, so as I said, um, We've got a say, or the fans have got a say. If we, so, we for instance, we could, we won't be able to see another AFC Wimbledon where they moved everything up to Milton Keynes, and the fans didn't couldn't do anything about it. But for me, if it was a situation, as I said, it was two or three miles away, then I think Pitt Jonah's got the responsibility to put sentiment aside and to say yes, I want to see this team progress because, um, and what what should happen to safeguard that area that we will be moving to if we were to move is that those um, the, 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 that deed or something that, that is transferred so that share those shares are transferred to the new area so we don't have a situation where the club um, that the fans don't own a part of that area so they still will own the center circle of the new pitch they'll still own um, the pitch which is going to be put on there so if for instance clear lake had something more sinister in mind and wanted to sell the ground in the future they will be powerless to do so so there are contracts that can be drawn up that can um, stipulate that and stop them from 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 doing that you know because let's be honest we are falling way behind our competitors at the moment. You know, we've got a 42,500 stadium, whereas all our other competitors, the Tottenham's and the Liverpool's and the Man Manchester United's, Arsenal's, have got 60,000 plus stadiums. So we're missing out on, you know, there's a potential 18,000 new fans that we can bring in. And we're missing out on three to four million pounds of match day revenue per game. When you add it up over the course of the season you're talking about a 40 million or plus 80 million or something win uh, dif difference in, in, in price between us and it's it adds up at the end of the day so uh, to talk top clubs like Tottenham now who've moved into their new stadium and they're more stable now they'll be be more competitive whereas we won't be able to compete and those fans who are sort of moaning about us you know, potentially move in are the same ones we're moaning that about where how we're trying to do creative things to get you know you know the pure profit you know they're the same ones moaning that will be selling off homegrown players just to um get more money so that we can be competitive so that's the realistically that's what we have to do to be more realistic is player sales so and um, player sales makes us weaker on the pitch as well so i am for progress and if it means, as I said, moving within reason to a new stadium, then I'll take it. 
But there's not a lot of stadiums now which are um, gonna be viable for us to move to, because obviously, um, which are in close proximity of Stamford Bridge. So it looks like if we can't get them um, explore the, the um, Earl's Court situation, then we will have to be rebuilding on Stamford Bridge. So I'm hoping that if we do eventually build on Stamford Bridge, that we'll sort out the the infrastructure and the, 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 the traveling, because traveling to Stamford Bridge can be a bit of a, a nightmare, as I said, you've only got the one line, the district line, the, the foot and the Wimbledon one that takes you in, that can get a bit crowded at times. The next option is to walk to Imperial Wharf, which is a 15 minute walk, and even that gets crowded as well. So. Um, the transportation would need to improve, and that was with, uh, that's only with 42,000. When you add in an extra 18,000 into the mix, then it will be a potentially a nightmare, a logistical nightmare. So all these things have to be sort of ironed out and sorted out um, and looked into when we're looking at um, either a redevelopment of Stamford Bridge or a new pit, uh, ground in the future. So we'll see what happens. More developments may come out, but as of now, as I said, it's been rubbished by um, Earl's Court. So it looks like uh, the redevelopment is on its way to Stamford Bridge, which as I said, I'm not averse. I'd, 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 ideally, I'd like us to stay at Stamford Bridge if it's viable. Um, but we got to realize that when we're staying at Stamford Bridge, we're going to be probably um, away from Stamford Bridge for about four to five years anyway, whilst they are rebuilding it. And I'm hoping that we don't fall by the wayside like Arsenal did. It took them ages to get back after they built a new stadium. Um, same as Tottenham. You know, Tottenham have never been competitive anyway, but um, they, you know, they haven't seen the fruits of their labour yet. I'm not saying that they won't, but um, it will be, you know, playing away from home, playing at Wembley or Twickenham or wherever we're going to be playing. It's going to be a bit of pain for, for a few years, but I'm hoping that we can stay competitive. Um, but even but moving away from, from Stanford Bridge. So what are your thoughts on this situation? If potentially a opportunity to Earl's Court did come along, would you be happy to go to Earl's Court or is it Stanford Bridge? No, I'll give you a scenario. Stanford Bridge, 42,000. We have to still keep selling off homegrown talent to stay competitive and we won't be able to compete a lot financially with the big boys or move away a couple of miles away from Stamford Bridge, 60,000 stadium, um, be competitive, able to keep um, a lot of our players not relying on player sales to, to bring in revenue. What, what are you taking out of those two options? I know which one I'll go for, but stick your comments in the section below. Don't forget as always, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, let me notified every time I make a new video. So take care, bye-bye.